Underneath our muscular coats, bones shape our bodies. They support us and give our muscles leverage. Our skeleton weighs about 30 pounds. That's less than 20% of our body weight. The shape of each bone is highly specialized, yet the complex structure of the limbs makes them immensely flexible and versatile. The arms are supported by a bony framework across the shoulders, which is only loosely connected to the rest of the skeleton. The shoulder blades are not attached to the rib cage underneath, allowing the arms a wide range of movement. Inside the bones, a mysterious world emerges. One third of a bone's weight is made of living tissue, linked by a microscopic network of blood vessels and nerves. The center of some bones is filled with marrow, which manufactures blood cells. This microscopic architecture lies within many of our bones. Its open structure combines strength with lightness. Bones are not permanent. The minerals that make up the hard part of the bone, calcium and phosphorus, gradually dissolve and are carried away in the bloodstream. New bone is built up from minerals supplied by blood vessels that travel through tiny canals in the bone. As a result, our skeletons are replaced every two years. The crystals of new bone are layered to provide strength, similar to the construction of carbon fiber in an ore. Like the ore, the bone levers in the human body must work against a pivot or a joint. Of all the joints in the human body, the knee is the most complex. It must flex while carrying heavy loads. The kneecap allows the muscles to pull strongly around the bent joint. To keep friction to a minimum, the bones are separated by a soft pad. It's filled with a syrupy natural lubricant called synovial fluid. Without their well-oiled joints, our bodies would move as stiffly as robots. Joints and bones work together to amplify the motion of our muscles. The pivot point of the elbow magnifies the movement of the bicep muscle in the upper arm. This wide hand swing requires only a one-inch contraction of the biceps. But the human hand is probably the most amazing piece of bioengineering. It sets us apart from most of the animal kingdom. The thumb faces the fingertips, providing a strong yet sensitive grip. The three longest fingers are operated by muscles in the forearm. Their power is transmitted by long tendons. The fragile finger bones are built for delicate work, not strength, and the joints are correspondingly refined. In contrast, the massive backbone has the weight of the upper body to support. It also provides armor for the spinal cord, 
the superhighway of nerves that carries messages between the brain and the rest of the body. Thirty-one pairs of nerves fan out from the spinal cord. Towards the base of the backbone is a bundle of separate nerves called the horse's tail. The end portion of the backbone, the coccyx, has no nerves. It's the evolutionary remnant of a tail. This isn't a dinosaur's back. It's actually a human spine. These protrusions anchor the muscles that hold the human backbone together. The 24 individual bones, the vertebrae, are separated by shock-absorbing discs. Our body weight compresses the discs when we stand. We shrink by a fraction of an inch during the day, but we regain it during sleep. Our bony frame is held up by our legs, the strongest bones in the body. They can support up to one ton of weight. The foot bones are an exact counterpart to the bones of the hand, but shaped for different purposes. Stubby toes provide springiness. Arched bones spread the weight of the body, which is transmitted through the massive heel bone. The skeleton also provides protection for the heart, the lungs, and other vulnerable organs inside the body. The ribs help to spread the load. The skull is designed like a helmet to protect the brain, but sometimes it meets its match. Deprived of conscious commands, the body muscles give up. But not everything shuts down. The lower brain and spinal cord keep sending messages to muscles that work without our conscious control, powering our breathing and our heartbeat. Even star athletes must rely on the fitness of their involuntary muscles. During his workout, Bobby's heart revs itself up to twice its normal rate. His blood must carry more oxygen to feed his straining muscles. As his glycogen fuel is consumed, his muscles produce carbon dioxide. The blood rushes it back to the lungs to be exhaled. Heat is another waste product that must be eliminated from the body. Bobby's temperature is controlled by sweating and by radiation from his skin. Intensive training allows Bobby to draw more efficiently on the energy reserves stored in his body. Getting his body into shape to compete against the world has taken years of dedication. While other kinds of machines gradually wear out, the human machine can improve with use. Exercise makes the muscles grow in strength, stamina, and size. Ramsford has worked as hard as Bobby to develop his body. He's training for sheer strength and can lift twice his own weight. Even in the average human, muscles make up almost half the body's weight. The outer shape of our bodies is defined by the muscles below the skin. The human body contains 656 different muscles, about three muscles for every bone. We don't all look like Ramsford, yet we all have the same number of muscle cells. This number is fixed before we are born. 
Muscle is made largely of protein. To improve your physique, you need a high protein diet and program of weight training. But not everyone can achieve this muscle bulk, even with unlimited workouts. Ramsford has inherited the kind of muscles that can be built into a body like this.